Hey Trader, Steven Quitzel here with thetradersplan.com. Today we're going to talk about biotechs. It's what I'm going to, it's what I'm going to do with this week's blog. Uh, they're obviously leading the last week or two. All of a sudden the market kind of took a bullish shift and I always tell my subscribers, you know, be willing to pivot uh, at the drop of a hat. So we're going to look at the biotech industry as a whole. We're going to look at the chart. We're also going to look at some individual stocks as well. Right now we're going to look at the weekly chart because I like to tell the whole picture sometimes. So it, this is a chart of the, the biotech sector and you can see this sector it was up 336% from the beginning of 2012 really till it topped in 2015. That's a massive, massive run. Most of the stocks like the Gileads of the world, I mean they literally quadrupled in value over this time. So this is definitely a industry that can take off. That is a high growth industry. Um, obviously, there's you know some things in Washington that could uh, startle that. But let's just look at it from a te technical standpoint and a fundamental standpoint. Now, if we look at this chart, biotechs they they topped in mid 2015. They broke a downtrend right here, right at the beginning of the year, and then went up and immediately created this bull flag and then pop. So you know. When this happened, I was like, okay, is this breakout going to hold or is it going to roll over? Will it pop? And then it's, you know, kind of been trading sideways. Well, now it's starting to look like it really wants to take off. And why I think it's important to pay attention now is because money rotates, money managers, you know, when certain sectors get a little pricey and they do look at valuations, uh, they tend to just rotate into more uh, cheaper, at least from a valuation standpoint, stocks. I think a lot of these biotechs, especially relative to technology, they're definitely undervalued if you, you're talking from a pure PE standpoint. So from a technical standpoint, you know, this looks right. It's been in a deep consolidation for two years and is starting to climb the right side of this consolidation. This is a relative strength line versus the S&P 500. So that means if the this line, this choppy line is going down, that means it is underperforming the S&P. And if it goes up, that means it's outperforming the S&P. Obviously, you want to make sure you're in biotechs when they are outperforming the S&P. And you can see that it broke the trend line right here right around the same time it was breaking out of this consolidation pulled back and now it's starting to firm up and get strong so if this if this sector has room to run I, I don't think you're late to the party by any means so let's look at some individual positions so I gave a lot of these positions uh, really the sniff test from a fundamental standpoint and why I did that is because I don't want to look at biotech stocks that are supposed to you know, cure cancer or anything and they've already taken off to the moon or have no, you know, you look at a lot of biotech fundamentals and they just, they're projected to lose money as far as the eyes can see. So I really wanted medical stocks and biotech stocks that were fundamentally sound and, and I use that criteria as a starting point and then I went from a technical perspective to look at the chart. So right now I'm looking at Cryolife, C-R-Y, Cry is a ticker, uh, and we're going to look at about five of these, but you know, for, from a pure fundamental standpoint, okay, so it, it made a monster move from 8 to 20 and then it, it really corrected. And these deep corrections are really good because they're going to shake out and stop out all the weak holders, weak holders like you and me that, you know, are going to take our profits or we're going to have a stop in place. It, they're not going to shake out a lot of the institutions. So. It had a nice correcting, sh correction, shake out the weak holders of about 30%. But look at this. This is what I've been teaching, this bottoming pattern, this weekly upside reversal. You had the candlestick that went under the prior week, closed above the prior week, and volume was above average. I wish I would have seen this several months ago. So then you had a surge off the bottom, hit resistance at an all-time high, started to correct again in a nice little tight consolidation and is breaking out and at the same time it's also breaking out relative to the s p 500 so as i shoot this this is wednesday uh but it's probably going to be an above average week because this is midweek and that volume will probably spike a little bit so uh from a technical standpoint this looks like it wants to make another run and i like the fact that it had a deep correction just shake everybody out and now it wants to take off again when no one else wants anything to do with it. 
a couple of medical device companies. Uh, Global Medical. Now, I didn't go out and research exactly what all these companies do. I scanned it from a fundamental standpoint, and then I went uh, directly to a technical standpoint to see which companies I liked on the chart. Uh, this is very GMED, is the ticker, is very interesting. So it, it surged off, you know, it made a massive run. And then it had a nice correction. So you can see it broke down relative to the S&P 500. Why I'm keeping an eye on this, and I probably wouldn't consider buying it just yet, is because it, now we're midweek, right? But look at this candle wick that it printed right at that 40 week moving average, right at support, right? Someone big came in, stepped in, uh, now we want to wait to the end of week, so we want to wait to the weekend or right before the close Friday to make sure the volume is above average to meet our criteria of a bottom pattern. But uh, if we, you know, throw a nice little Fibonacci extension on here, probably going to be in that 38 to 50 percent retracement, probably a 38 percent retracement right around the 40-week moving average wait to the end of the weekend for that reversal pattern to complete if it does if it doesn't i would pass uh just because i i you know i can look at charts all the time and i want it to meet my criteria but this is something worth watching okay vertex uh if you follow bi biotechs you probably know what this is vrtx you can see it broke out relative to the s p 500 at right at the beginning of the year now it's already made a monster move. This might not be something that I personally would get involved with, but it's definitely the leader uh, when it comes to profitable biotech stocks. So you can see it went from 70 to 160. So I mean that's a that's a dang near that's you know two and a half times over. But it what's interesting from a technical standpoint is it broke this two-year consolidation, right? I mean it is charging high. It's charging high. Uh, it's what I call a high flyer. And then it's consolidating above the two-year consolidation. So this deep, deep consolidation that kind of looks like all of the biotechs, it broke out to an all-time high, no problem, busted through any resistance of all the people that got in right here and were trying to sell at break-even, busted through, and now it's consolidating. So when you look at charts that are on their way up, you, you can draw boxes around the consolidation and think of it as a stair-stepping, and that's what stocks do. You know, they, they go up, they pinball around, and then they go up. Um, so this is something that you definitely want to watch if you're a little bit more risky. Um, and what I would do, uh, how I would play this, which I I would, if it breaks that 10-week moving average, that would be my sell point. So if you want to get involved, you think it's going to take another leg up, you can take another leg up. I'd sell it into strength right here. But if it breaks below the blue line because it has found support all along this uptrend, that is where that would be my last line in the sand. Alexion, e -A, excuse me, ALXN. Uh, you can see broke out relative to the S&P 500. Uh, look at this surge off the bottom. So this chart really isn't that visually appealing on the downside, but look at the surge off the bottom. Uh, there is a cluster of volume. You can see it. There's a cluster of volume right behind these candle bars. Maybe I can uh, put that below. Let me see. Just to kind of change that so you can see it better. So look at the accumulation that stepped in off the bottom, really pushed it up. And now it's consolidating, creating a nice little bull flag, and it's trying to break out. So I would definitely pay attention to this one. Again, these stocks, at least past my fundamental screens of you know being profitable or turning a profit, have high return on equities and margins. Um, so this is something probably worth keeping an eye on if this is a true turnaround story. Now this is probably more my cup of tea that that cry that we already looked at and something like this because i like stocks that have just been pinballing around in a consolidation for a year or more uh, i don't know if you've ever heard the phrase uh the longer in base the higher in space so a stock that has been just been consolidating for so long hit the resistance four or five times and then breaks through that is something that you need to respect no matter what you think about the company if something like this happens and now is breaking out of a one-year price consolidation, broke out relative to the S&P 500, um, you definitely, definitely want to consider this. 
uh, and key or keep it on your short watch list uh, depending on how you trade. But this is this is something probably more my cup of tea because I love long consolidations and you can see it's sloppy, it's sloppy. It takes one stab at it and then it just kind of firms up a little bit. It's not as sloppy right in here. Uh, and that's what you want to see and then boom takes probably the fifth or sixth step and then breaks through So probably wore out a ton of people in this consolidation and then that's what happens. It shakes everybody out Then it just boom breaks through And I believe that is all that we have looked at that's all I have for us today So I hope this was helpful consider some of these on your watch list and let me know if you have any questions